Hi everyone, I'm Amelia Carbine with Cake Foo. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys some digital cake sketching stuff. We had someone on our digital cake sketching group ask about putting ruffles on a cake, and so um, I thought that it would be easier to show you guys than to, you know, have to try and explain it. So yeah, um, this is kind of a, a little bit more advanced. It's not, I'm not going through all the basics. So if you want to learn all the basics, go watch Liz Merrick's Cake Food Training on how to do digital cake sketching. Really wonderful uh, training. And um, I apologize for my voice. I've had a cold, uh, sore throat, all that. So hopefully it's not too <laughs> uh, crass and, and uh, hard to listen to. So anyway, uh, so we're going to start with two different ways that we're going to do uh, we're going to teach you two different ways to do the ruffles and we'll try and hurry and just go right through it and um, this is the the ruffle cake that she showed me that she wants to uh, recreate in a cake form or in a sketch form so I'm going to show you how to actually draw out something that has the ruffle look effect and then um, I'll show you how to just cut and paste so that you can do whichever you choose to do. All right, so first we're going to uh, take our uh, bottom tier. Actually, you know, I'll do it on the top since it's smaller <laughs> and easier to show you guys. Um, so we'll do it on the top tier. And um, I'm going to start out by our top tier. We're just going to hit the Command button and select the, the little icon and that's going to uh, create a, a nice selection of that part for us and we're going to create a new layer which is going to be the layer we're going to be working with and we're going to come over and grab our lasso tool and add to this and make sure you've got this uh, two little squares with the both of them, them filled in selected and we're going to come over here and we're just going to kind of uh, do this rough, kind of uh, ruffly effect for the outside of the tier because we want it to be, you know, dimensional. We want it to have that shape and dimension to it. Okay, so once we've done that, we're just going to now fill in. So we're going to take our fill in tool, we're going to select the color that we want our tier to be. We'll go with a nice teal color and fill that in. Okay, so that's all we've got is just a filled in layer. Deselect that by Command D and we're going to um, kind of do the method that Liz taught. We're going to put layer 6 below, select layer 4, click, here, click normal and multiply and that way we have the, the dimension still it's not going to make a difference, really, if you do that or not in the end with what with the other things that we're going to be doing, but it'll give us a nice outline of where to, you know, where to put all of our things. Okay, so we're going to create another layer now. And we're going to use our brush tool, and we're going to come over here and we're going to select our we're going to select the hmm if I can find it I think I want the charkey which is um okay here charkey this is one that Liz Merrick has said that she loves to use all the time and it's a really good one so it's just kind of it it gives good highlights and and, and things like that. So uh, we're going to come down here, we're going to select a darker color here. Um, not too dark. Kind of a grayish darker color. And we're just going to start adding in some uh, little shades and, and uh, this is just going to add you know shade and dimension to our image here and we're just going to kind of do lines and stuff 
all over the place. I kind of want to blur that uh, line a little bit there. In the end, if it's too big of a problem, you can actually come through and unmultiply your layer. But I'm, I'm leaving it there for now so that I can see where to do my lines and everything. Alright, so this right, right here that we're doing is basically just adding, we're adding depth and dimension to, to what we're doing here. And as you can see, I, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. It's just little, uh, little scribbles here and there. And, yeah. Make sure you get the sides. Okay, don't, don't fuss with it too much. If you want to, you can create a new layer, or you can just work right on top of this. I'm just going to work right on top of it. I'm going to select another color. And I'm going to go with a little bit lighter color. And maybe a little more teal. There, there we go. I like that color. And we're just going to kind of do the same thing over. And um, I'm using a, the tablet, the Monoprice tablet. And it's, um, it's basically a pen and notepad. And that's how I'm able to get all of these lines and everything in here so quickly and where I want it to be. If you're using your mouse, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. Okay. And again, we don't need to be too, you know, fussy and crazy over this. We're just adding color and depth and dimension. The more, the more colors we add, the more depth we add, the better. Okay, and I won't do too much. I'm, I don't want to bore you guys. Okay, and then we're going to do one more uh, set of colors here. Um, and then we're going to just kind of do these little swirly things in here now because we're adding a little bit more of the. I'm going to start, start getting that ruffle feel. Okay. As you can see, it's starting to come along. Nothing terribly fancy yet. All right, um, we're going to add one more color, and I'm going to go dark again. So we're going lighter, darker to lighter to darker again, and um, I'm going to make my thing a little bit smaller. You can make your um, make your brush smaller by using the brackets on your keyboard. And we're just going to come in here and we're going to kind of just, kind of where we went and did other lines, we're going to just kind of highlight them with our darker. So it's just going to add that extra, it's all about dimension here, because we want it to look like these ruffles are sticking out. And so, there we go. Alright, we don't need to do too much of that, just to get, you know, some of that darker in there. Alright, you get the idea, basically, of what we're trying to accomplish. Alright, now I'm going to create a new layer, because I'm going to change my tool. I'm going to come and I'm going to change my brush to the chalk tool. And we're going to make it quite a bit smaller. And we're going to go pretty light. And we're going to come in here, make it even smaller. And we're going to just kind of do squigglies. And these squigglies are going to be our little ripples. Alright, uh, so you can follow the lines if you want, or you can create your own new ones. Uh, it's totally up to you what you want to do. And you can spend as much time on this as you want, but uh, it's best if you just try and hurry and get through it because, you know, really you're just trying to create a, 
a sketch for your client. You're just trying to create that idea of ruffles and, you know, that effect. So you don't really want to be too crazy about it. Alright. And there we go, we've got our ruffles. Um, you can go through and you can do like a more of a pencil color here. And I actually have a pencil tool down here that I like to use that you can come in and you can draw in you know, your little, uh, just like a ruffle type, you know, whatever you want to do. It, it's it really sky's the limit with whatever you want to do here. I'm not going to take those away. So I'm going to have to this. Okay. So yeah, basically that's um, how you create like a ruffle effect just by drawing it. And you know, it doesn't take forever, but it, it gives that feel, that effect. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to show you guys how to cut and paste. So if you decide that that's just too much work, you don't want to have to deal with that, <clears throat> here's the easy way to do it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take our lasso tool. We're just going to cut around this image that we have. And this is maybe a picture that the client has brought to us and they've said, I want this on the cake. I just have to have this on the cake. And so you want to incorporate it into your cake, but you don't want it to be just a copy of the cake that they've had. So you want to add to your sketch um, this technique, but you don't want it to be, you know, you don't want to be copying someone else's work, basically. So, just going to kind of go around. I am just doing a really rough, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not getting all of this at all. And as you can see, that's okay. <laughs> that's quite all right. All right, so what we're going to do is command copy, or command C to copy, create a new layer and paste, command V, and we'll deselect that, and that gives us our nice layer that we're going to then move over into our cake sketch here. You have to move it up so you can see it. There we go. Uh, whenever you're rotating or moving things, you have to hit return or click on the little selector arrow and you know say that you want to approve that move. Otherwise, you can get stuck and not know why you're not able to do things. You can't select another layer. It's just not working. I don't know what's going on. It's happened to me lots of times. Okay, so this is basically what we have here. We're going to now go and warp this image because we want to get it to be exactly where we want it to be. Hit return. Um, all right, so we're going to select so it's got a nice hard outer side to it. Hit control and then tap it again, and then you can select warp. Um, I'm sure there's a way up here to select warp. I just don't know. I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> okay, so then in warp, you can just take your image and you can just move it and manipulate it however you want to make it fit where you want it to fit. I think it's a little too uh, bulging out right there. There you go. You don't have to fuss with it too much. The great thing about ruffles is if you decide that um, say here at the top, pull that in. All right, and that's that's good enough. All right, so here at the top, it's kind of coming up and over, and I don't really care for that. So I'm going going to take my eraser tool, and I'm going to erase 
<clears throat> some of these ruffles that are hanging up above that I don't really want in in the image. So there you go. Um, of course, you want to go through and, and hide that. Uh, there's different ways you can do that. You can go through and select this, and um, there's a way to delete it and make it like the other. I'd have to look up how to do that. <laughs> Maybe that that'll be a different training another day. Or you can just uh, select some of this area here, and you can copy it, and you can paste it. And this pasted area, you can just kind of move over on top of it. Hit Option, and that gives you another layer that you can add. Hit Option again, you can move it, you can warp it, you can move it. Yeah. So there's ways of hiding your things you don't want. And that's another great thing about ruffles, is that, you know, <clears throat> it's very forgiving. <laughs> and you don't have to see it all. Uh, I would take all of these layers that have all the ruffle and I would merge them together. Uh, and then you can posterize it if you want. Um, here, I'm going to actually select all of these and merge them and show you how to do that. Let's see, how many more do we have? Okay, I've got one. down to there. So I've just hit shift and I've selected all of these layers. If we right click, then we can come over here and select merge layers. And so now all of this is one layer. I don't have, you know, these areas that I filled in. It's all one layer now. All right, so now I can take this layer and I can go up to filter, go to filter gallery, and select poster edges. I, that's the one I like. Uh, I know Liz Merck uses um, Topaz Labs, and that's great um, if you want to purchase that. I, you know, I did the trial for it, which was fun to try. But yeah, I'm good with I'm good with using the, the poster. <clears throat> so you can change the edge thickness. You can make it nice and really thick if you want. And you can, you know. Or you can change the intensity if you want it really intense. I don't care for that all that much. Uh, change the posterization so that you know it takes out um, more colors, less colors. And I kind of like it. Well, let's say about right here. There you go. And so this has just kind of turned it into something that it looks more like a drawing than it does the actual cake. And then you can come in here with your brush tool, select your pencil, and do your, you know, sketchy little ruffle lines on here and, you know, your squiggly lines. And make it look more, you know, more like a sketch than it does uh, an actual cake tier that you've just cut and pasted, you know. Because we want it to look like a sketch. We want the client to think that we've spent forever on this. And we worked so hard. And that's amazing that you can sketch that well. <laughs> so there you go. You get the idea of how to do the two different versions. So again, here's one that is, uh, it's, a, it's a fairly rough. It's not as detailed as the other. But it's a, a quick way to get that kind of a ruffled effect without, you know, the cutting and pasting. Or you can cut and paste and, um, you know, get a kind of a quicker effect, whichever you choose. But there you go.